shot from Alphonse Arena in Orono, Maine. It's the final night of the Hockey East regular season. The Maine Black Bears have already locked up third place. The UMass Minutemen are looking to secure fourth. Scholey lifting the stick of Aaron Bollinger. And they get it in front. Poisson right on the doorstep. He's got it back, gives to Holt, wrist shot, saved by Rabble, rebounds, loose, Rabble down on the ice. But UMass scrambles the puck away. They do not clear. It was Mercury who tried to get it out. Hool in the left circle. Donovan Hool looking for a shooting angle. Scott scores! One-timer, Harrison Scott. Maine leads 1-0. Well, we seem to think this is their second power play unit, but it may be their first. This is the winner last night. Watches the puck comes out to Harrison Scott. Top of the faceoff circle, right wing side, and makes no mistake, this is a laser beam that goes top shelf up over the blocker side of... Aaron Bollinger, one of the co-captains, sends around, kept in by Lesikowski, thrown to the front, and pinballs around. Only seven points on two goals and five assists from 21 games for Nolan Renwick. But he's having success at the moment. Big save again by Rabel. Pass now got it to Holt. Holt gives back to Hool on his forehand, lets it go. It got blocked, and Ninasari couldn't get it out. And a main a, a player's broken his stick, it looks like. It is one of the UMass players, loose puck, and it's shoveled wide by Scholey. Hool coming back down the boards. Holt. One-timer, Scholey scores! Well, oh, this is extremely well set up. UMass playing the point position against Maine. Very soft, that gives these guys survey. Look how far off those four checkers are. That gives their defensemen time to survey the best option. And watch as the puck comes over to Scholey. The one-timer beats Robble. Behind the net for UMass, that's Christian Sanda, the grad transfer from Union. To Taylor McCarr to the front oh, and they man. score! Lucas Mercury set up nicely by Taylor McCarr. UMass needed that and they're back to within one. Mercury watches he battles, or McCarr rather, he battles, but Mercury has to battle. He's battling two main defensemen. He gets the puck right on his stick, watches. He's able to get that shot away between the legs of Antonacci. Terrific response by UMass, like you said, Jeff. They really needed this. This couldn't get any further out of hand, or they'd be in real trouble. But now tonight, and great puck movement, great awareness, great shots on goal from outside. That's kind of a position play. Musa splits the D, though, and a great kick save by Boya. O'Hara behind the net, keeps it going for Ninisari on the near side. Lawton back, got it to the front, paddled away. D to D to Alger, but. Real interrupts it. Scott got it to Josh. The shot and oh. stopped in. But time runs out on UMass in the first period. Maine takes a one goal lead to the dressing room. It is Denisari unable to clear. Josh Nadeau saucers to himself. Renwick turns. Oh. He was a little too close to Rabble. Lawton back. Denisari, Lawton back, right circle. Back in front there for Connors. In a sorry. 15 seconds on the power play. Murray through traffic. Save Boya. Big rebound. Score. Yeah, we talked about Albin Boya controlling rebounds when he does it. And there it is. And gets the first save. But look at that rebound come way out. And uh, he makes no mistake. That's a beautiful shot. Beautiful finish. And that ties this hockey game. That's Cole O'Hara. And he goes to one knee. To Moro. Gorman played the body instead of the man. Now Harrison Scott comes in. He shoots, save Rabble. He juggled it, but has even the score. Kenny Connors picking up the lone assist for now. And the shot stopped by Boya. He kicked out a big rebound right to Jack Musa, who puts the Minutemen in front. Second time tonight, O'Hara's with the puck. You see Grayson Arnott loses the stick. Look at the rebound come out. Directly to Jack Musa, so much net to shoot. That's almost like he can't miss. There's the shot, there's the rebound attempt, or the re rebound opportunity. Lifted away by Murray, Lesikowski's got it, throws it on net, Rabble the save. His stick tied up, Murray 
is cut off. The backhander stopped by Rabel. Josh Nidley got it back and shot wide. Bradley Nadeau with it to Renwick. Maine has numbers if they hurry. It's Renwick dropping back. Bradley to Josh! They score! We're tied again! Watches Renwick dishes to uh, Bradley. Over to Josh. Or over, yeah, over to Josh for the finish. Great tic-tac-toe. Triangle offense, open lane, short side. And not able to transition transition it quickly enough to uh, keep the mass Real to Hool, who gets denied by Rabel. We get past Morrow all the way down the ice. And they get it to the front, knocked Ooh. away. Loose puck, it is sent wide. So. Mass won that D zone draw to kill off the rest of the period. So we'll head to the locker rooms, tied at three. And trying to get it on net is Gorman. Back to the point it goes, Bollinger through traffic, tip save, boy, another try, it's loose and then sent wide. UMass needs a win in any fashion to get a home ice spot in the Hockey East quarterfinals next weekend. Boy, the save, the puck's loose, the net is off. He's starting to look like he did a little bit last year now that he's between the Nadeaus. Sent toward the net there. Boya makes a save. Maine will intercept the point pass. Calafior banks ahead. In comes Poisson. Calafior wants it back, and he can't find it. Result tonight, all that matters for UMass. They, with it now comes Eider Sunyev. Sunyev, the Russian, gets the puck behind the net. Sunyev finds Connors. Good save by Boya. Shot in as he'll peel off for a change. Rabble gives to Moro. Moro gave it away. It's Breen. Shot score! Lyndon Breen on senior night puts Maine ahead with a minute 17 left. Breen, middle of the ice, watches the intercept of this puck. Gets into a shooting area and beats Bollinger clean. This is the third, I believe, third, maybe fourth. First shot. Initial shot score by Maine. And return the favor as UMass swept in regulation last season here in Orono. Loose as it goes to the front. As a stick's broken, Rabble already heading toward the bench. Out he comes. 58 seconds, extra man on for UMass. Morrow, top of the slot, waits. One timer that time by Sunyev, blocked. Sunyev again, save Boya. He rebounds loose. And it's to the end boards, down to five. Freel tries to pin it. Two seconds, Maine sweeps the final weekend, and UMass is forced to go to Providence next week. What a way to end this hockey game, and what a way to end your season. A dramatic goal by a senior. Who These fans are just, uh, just roaring. It's just so great to see them close out the season the way they did. These fans are standing on their feet applauding as uh, Maine salutes their fans. And you got to believe that these fans are a big part of why Maine has been so successful. Great to see the Elf on full again. Sellout crowd again tonight, we believe, even though the students aren't here. They put the tickets to the student section on sale, and fans gobbled them up, and they were entertained and uh, rewarded with a, just a tremendous hockey game. What a finish. A clutch win by the Maine Black Bears to close the regular season. And for UMass, I think they did everything right tonight for the most part. They fell behind 2-0. They took a lead in the second period, can't hold it. And as a result, on a weekend where they were in the driver's seat to host a Hockey East quarterfinal game, now we're going to have to get on a bus to Providence next week.